Hello YouTube friends and fans. When I do a little show and tell, guess what this so has to do with tonight's project. And what does this have to do with a bicycle lift? Stick around. How do we start a good project in the garage? Well, with heat, of course. If you haven't seen past video, I'll show you how I assembled this patio heater and I'm using it for the garage. Pretty snazzy. Press it in. It's got a clicker to light. Never had it where it hasn't light on the second time. Supposed to keep this compressed for about 30 seconds. This is a self-feeding radiant type heater. You can really feel the heat off of this. I'll come back in a little bit and show you the glow. It's already starting at the top. You can see it. Alrighty, let's go to our project. Well, I got ahead of the game here a little bit. And I installed this bike rack. Or bike lift, sorry. It's operated with a set of pulleys. You can see there. I measured it out and of course I don't like the way it hangs. And so we're going to move it and I didn't realize when I did it that the back tire would be up as high as it is. So by making modifications to this I will be able to gain my walkway in front of the car without having to worry about bumping your head. I'll show you all the components here and show you what that white box has to do with the whole thing. Probably a little confused why I have a sewing machine in the garage, but this will make sense. Alright, so let's show you what goes in one of these boxes. So first, you have a little pulley there and two movable arms I don't really care for. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to modify this. Alrighty, so we're just basically going to cut each one of these off right here. Got the first one in the vise. Daddy, does that make sparks yeah, too? Yeah, sparks a little bit too. There you go, we're rounding off the edges. Ready to work, right? One for the front, one for the back. And you got your rope. Front or back pulley, depending on how you want it to go up. I've had this out of the box. This pulley is actually was put in the middle. I moved it to one end. It's real simple. Just release the bolt. It's a carriage bolt underneath. Got 
pack of screws, and instructions. Of course, they're not very good. So, you'll probably get more out of the video. Here's the funny part. You should be able to see the holes. There are five on each side, so that's ten holes. Times two makes twenty. Plus you have the tie down. There's two, four, six, eight, ten total. Don't know about you, but my math says there's not enough screws. And when I hung these, they're kind of a pain in the head, but you almost have to pre-drill. So I went to my local hardware store. And almost all of you can appreciate these screws. Cap screw. And I can put a socket on it and drive a nut driver and they'll go straight in no problem. So that's all that. That's all the bits and pieces. Basically the way the rope works. Start here with this end, you tie off. Tie off through here. Then you go through a pulley. Rope's going to go through the pulley, and then up over this pulley, and down. Then you go on to the next pulley on the bracket. Down around the pulley that's holding the... The other end of the bike. So it comes over, around that one. Down under this one, back up through. The tricky part of this is it's got an actual brake here. That little piece right here, the string goes, if I can hold it for you. String comes over the pulley, under, and through the hole on the end. So, and when you lift up on the cord, it pinches the cord in there and will actually hold it by itself for the most part. Your little tie off is your insurance. So since I didn't like these guys, who doesn't keep nylon around, right? Strapping? Let me take you for a walk. Alrighty, who doesn't keep nylon? I've got a little bit of an excess. Bought the little clip at the store, hardware store. Put anything you want together. Part off of the baby seat. Maybe I'm going to make a three-point harness somewhere. But here's the gem. Strap off of a uh, pewter bag, briefcase, whatever. So Alright. Oh, forgot the scissors. So, basically, I'm going to take this strap, discard this part of it, and I'm going to cut it right here for maximum use, right at the stitching. So, that hook will come off. This will slide right off too. Okay. 
Now I need 12 inches is the magic number. Let's see if we've got enough to do this. Just barely. What I'm doing here is I'm going to match it, fold it in half, copy the profile, pull it down. Now these will, will fray a little. Don't try this at home. We're going to melt these ends on this nylon. Almost. If you've ever had nylon out of a package, you know what this little hard end becomes. It's because of heat like this. Don't have no thread. I think we can make do. This machine has the ability to sew sideways, left, right, forward, backwards without ever touching a foot pedal. It'll sew almost automatically. I just have to tell it when to start and stop. I am sewing a box stitch or rectangular stitch with an X like you would see on almost all strapping. And 
the nice, really nice part, automatic cutter. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to loop this around like the handlebar, and that will cinch tight on it. And that's what we're going to hang. We're actually going to hook the hook right there. So it's going to hang from the bike just like so. Alrighty, gonna need a little help getting the bike down because I don't want to drop it on the car and I don't trust it. Just wanted to show you that I mean it kind of will hold but it doesn't take much to pull that off. Alrighty. We'll show you how well the strap works. So there's one.
the camera here the uh, final bird's eye view and we show it in action. Now you can see, pretty much locks itself. But I will walk it to the wall because safety first. Alrighty friends, thanks for watching, subscribe, more content to come, try to help me get to the thousand subscriber mark, and we can do a lot more once I hit that point. I'll use the funds to put it right back in the channel and show you.